Hello gamers, welcome to Knight's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Knight and today I'm going to show you how to win the Talmberg Horse Race in Kingdom Come Deliverance and get your Knight Rider achievement easily. See you in a second. So today we're going to win the Talmberg Horse Race without having to memorise course layouts or check your map mid-race, which is good because that will not pause the race. I know this because I made that mistake the first time I did it. Winning this race will also unlock the Knight Rider achievement, and I'm assuming that if you're watching this video you already have the quest Sport of Kings, but if not, you can get this quest at any time after completing the Ginger in a Pickle quest, which begins after the murders in Neuhof. Once that quest is done, simply travel to Neuhof, Speak to Zora, the widow of the murdered vassal Smil, ask her for work, she'll tell you all her problems, and ask you to take her dappled grey horse, which is in the inner courtyard, to Sir Divish in Talberg. Ride the horse back to Talberg, talk to Sir Divish, use the horsemanship dialogue option when it appears, he'll suggest a race, you talk to the Talberg stable master, tell him about the race, and he'll tell you to be outside the castle gates on the dappled grey horse at noon the next day. If you haven't done any of that, go do it now. We'll wait. Right, everybody all caught up? So, now it's noon the day of the race and we're outside the Talmberg Castle Gates. Now, as I said before, you don't need to memorise any routes, but for those who just want to know where to go, I'll show you the course route very quickly. The race begins at Talmberg, just outside the Castle Gates, as I mentioned before. From there, the race goes northeast to Ujitz and back along the same route, then through Talmberg Town and out the other side to the windmill outside Merhoyed. Then turn around again and head back to Talmberg, turning left along the river when you reach the bottom of town towards the quarry where the Talmberg blacksmith is. Then you simply pick up the ribbon outside the blacksmith's place and head back to the starting line outside the castle gates. So, now you know the route, but if you stick with me for a few more minutes, I'll explain why you don't need to remember it, because... There's no set course. You can take any route you want. Knowing the lie of the land is very important. There you go. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, whilst knowing the lie of the land is very important, this doesn't mean that you need to memorise shortcuts, because you'll only need one, and it is almost impossible to miss if you watch this video. So at noon, Sir Divish will give a short speech and then start the race. At this point, your instinct will be to get as far out in front as you possibly can. But you're not going to do that, and here are three reasons why. One, Zora's horse can't keep up that speed forever, so you'll need to slow down to a canter every now and again to let it rebuild its stamina. Two, you can't win the race if you don't pick up all three ribbons, and the easiest way to find your way to those ribbons is to follow one of the riders who does know the route. And three, the shortcut you'll take at the very end of the race will cut off so much time that you would have to stop for an ice cream to lose this race. My advice is to always keep one rider in front of you until you pick up the final ribbon. You'll probably get in front of them accidentally from time to time because they also have to slow occasionally to let their horses rest. It's best not to let the first rider get too far ahead, but as long as you can still see him, and more importantly where he's going, you'll have no trouble at all. You must also get all three ribbons to win the race. The ribbons are attached to poles like this, and you will automatically pick them up as long as you ride past the pole and within a few feet of it. Once you've picked up the ribbons from Ujitz and the windmill, be careful as you near the Talmberg quarry. You'll have to ride across a narrow bridge and turn left to pick up the ribbon before turning around and heading back towards the castle. This is where you'll take your one and only shortcut. As you start heading back along the road towards the castle, you'll see a little track going up the hill to your left. Take it. Don't worry about the other riders. I've done this race several times, and the other riders never take shortcuts, regardless of what you do. The track will wind its way up to the castle, and you should arrive long before the other riders even come round the corner. Right up to the point where the race started, and you'll receive some limp applause from the few people that bothered to hang around for a race they can't see. Get off your horse, talk to Sir Divish, and your achievement should pop. 
pass your message. And that's it. If the achievement is all you wanted, go kill some bandits, or kill some bunnies, have a bath, eat some orange goo, whatever blows your skirt up. But, if you need to see it through to the end and get your reward, head back to Neuhof, give Zora the good news, and she'll reward you with a nice posh saddle which looks like this. I hope you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow us on social media, any of those needy things that make us feel wanted. Check out some of our other videos, there'll be more coming up in the future. But until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night.